Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are going to be playing some more Historic Anthologies for uh, Historic. It's uh, a bunch of new cards came into the format through the Anthology Injection, um, and what we're going to be playing today is a best of one deck. Um, this is a updated version of Mono Blue Storm. Um, so in its time during Standard, there was a deck built around Inspiring Statuary, which is a card that got reprinted in Historic Anthology 4. Uh, your non-artifact spells have Improvise, meaning you can tap your untapped artifacts to pay mana for those spells. So you can get cost reduction for those. Um, and what you try to do is play out a bunch of cheap artifacts, use Paradoxical Outcome to return those to your hand, allow you to recast those cards, and then um, basically generate a bunch of storm as so for those of you who aren't familiar with storm it's an older mechanic where each card that you play for the turn builds up your storm count um, but basically in this case here it's been, every card you play gains you uh, one plus the amount of cards you've cast each time um, so if you basically cast a bunch of spells with aether flux reservoir get over 50 life and then 50 shot your opponent um, now with the new cards from 2019 it's not as powerful I find it's kind of like a, a different take on the Paradox Engine deck. Um, but really what we're trying to do is play out a bunch of cheap artifacts, use Emery and Psy to get value. Psy creates Thopters, Emery lets us cast artifacts from the graveyard, and then we have Karn that also allows us to search our sideboard in a best of one format for a... Um, like a wishboard style effect. You also have uh, the other Karn that gives you card advantage and creates tokens. You can also have like the backup plan of just winning through um, like a bunch of cheap artifact creatures with its minus two ability. Um, and really what we're trying to do, play a bunch of stuff and then you are able to bounce everything back. We're also playing a Flood of Tears. It's very easy for us to get a big board. So, uh, so Flood of Tears over Brawl's expertise because this lets us bounce everything and reset our opponent's board and then either put down like a Paradox Engine or Reservoir or Inspiring Saturate, whatever the best card is from our hand. Um, the way we're kind of piecing it together, um, Mox Amber, so unlike the Paradox Engine decks, we're only playing two. We only have really the two legendaries that could generate mana off it. We don't have um, Jengantha or uh, the two drop uh, dude that doubles the mana. Um, our Planeswalkers don't generate colored mana off it. Um, we have Ornithopter as another cheap threat. Uh, Witching Well helps set up our extra draws. Late game, it could be a mana fix. Uh, Chromatic Sphere. So Chromatic Sphere, uh, Emery, and Paradox Engine basically lets you draw your entire deck um, for free. Um, so that's a way you could kind of combo. It's like an infinite combo that you can do. Renegade Map helps us filter our, our, like fine lands early on, which is nice. Um, and that's pretty much the core of it. Uh, we have an Inventor's Fair to kind of search for two combo pieces as well, gain us some life and a couple voids. We also have a Mystic Sanctuary to put back either our Paradox Colocum or our Flood of Tears. Um, sideboard, we just have situational stuff for best of one. Crypt for graveyard, spell bomb to bounce an opponent's creature, uh, cage if needed, gear per versus counter spell decks. You can just like prevent them from casting anything for a turn, ratchet bomb for tokens, spyglass for anything. Uh, we have another copy of Reservoir in there, card advantage with Cosmos Elixir, Mystic Forge lets us play cards off the top of our library, Monument lets us go kind of big um, if we want to go the creature win route. Uh, we have another engine that we can fetch, Sovereign for like removal. God Pharaoh Statue's attacks, Meteor Golem to blow stuff up, and Platinum Angel against some decks is just auto win, Goblins, Auras. Can't really beat this. Um, so it's pretty much the deck. Um, gonna be playing it in the play queue. Uh, it's powerful at times, but also kind of clunky. Um, so I'm pretty high up in Mythic right now. So this, I think, is a more fun deck to try out. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a tier one deck. Um, but this is more of a do your th do the thing deck. Um, so we'll get it going. Um, as always, if you do enjoy the content, if you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. It's free and it does go a long way, let me tell you, to helping out the channel. Uh, so appreciate if you could do that. Um, this hand's a mall. This hand's good. We'll put away a copy of Psy and then hold these artifacts. Probably Golden Egg, because this will give us something to do. 
So I kind of want to pose out questions with the new videos and stuff. So let me know what card from Historic Anthologies 4 you've been most excited about. Um, what card has been the most interesting for you to play? What's the deck you're playing right now in Historic? Um, I still think we take just another shot here. Um, I want to get an instant trigger off this. Okay, so they're probably a Cavalcade deck. Yeah, they're definitely a Cavalcade deck. So they're going to be able to beat us if they have a Cavalcade through blockers. Um, this is a matchup where if we draw a uh, Karn, it could be good uh, to get the, um, the Angel. Okay, so they just go unblockable here. That's fine. Second copy there is pretty good. Okay, so we go... Sphere here is nice because it's free mana. We also have three life that we can gain off this. Um, I think I want to go Emery here. milled all our cards so we can basically pair it up each turn with emery um to get that value i'm probably going to use this to draw a card so what we can do is put some blockers in front the opponent's had enough so what we are going to be able to do is every turn with emery draw an extra card and then that should help us dig into a bit deeper we also have Psy that can draw some extra cards the only downside of the play queue is people will just concede. I don't think the opponent should have conceded that early. We didn't necessarily have the combo in play. Um, they would have been able to push through some amounts of damage. Aggro can be a bit of a problem. Sounds fine. I think we're keeping the lands on top. We can go Mindstone next turn. Set up the Psy. Goblins will be interesting. Karn's going to go get um, Platinum Angel, and that'll lock him out of the game. Um, I actually don't mind the map here, because it gives me something guaranteed to play with Psy next turn. And I think just finding lands is useful here. Pretty aggressive line there. So I purposely waited on the blue, so it kind of fake, like we weren't necessary, like we were on the um, colorless Tron list. So here I can just block as needed. I will double block the chieftain. Ooh. That's a lot of damage coming through. I think we're just doing this this turn. Okay, so we have Statuary. Statuary gives me so I can do this. I can go get a land. I can Karn. These turns usually take a bit of thinking. So I can do this. I can draw a card. If I hit a land, then I can also Statuary. I think we do this. Perfect. So then here, do this. And I think what we're doing here, I think we're going just cage here. 
or I can go Platinum Angel because this is probably dead. We just need to survive where we have the land here. I can also use Outcome to draw some cards. We might just be dead here. Let's see how they attack. Unfortunately, we can't cost reduce here. Karn gives us a free token. Can Cosmos Elixir. Oh, they're just going Muxus here, probably. Go Cranko. It's kind of net neutral. Because they have to sack four things here. Probably better off just setting up a Muxus turn, to be honest. No, I'm dead by one. I forgot the cost reduction there. Yeah, so we needed a turn there. Could have got Tormont's Crypt just to make one more token, but they hit pretty well off the top of their library as well. Okay, this sounds pretty good. So with this hand, I can use Sphere to draw a card in case they have a Haster. It is possible with this deck to turn one Emery uh, with two zero drops. I think here I actually want to gain a life. So we can see what we draw and then always crack the sphere next turn. It's mana neutral. You pay in a mana, you get a mana. Okay, so we got the sanctuary. Want to see if we can hit an untap source here? Perfect. So in this matchup, they we probably get engine first, or we can get Mystic Forge. Because we're probably just gonna set up Flooded Tears. Let's go Aether Flux. I'll block here. If they have another angel, I want to get the uh, the Karn going. It's also fine. So, want to save this Mystic Sanctuary for after the Flood of Tears. I can do this, I can Aether Flux, 
I don't have the four things yet anyways, and we do need to hit another lion, so let's do this this turn. I can probably save that for next turn. Um, actually, because I'm going to probably flood a tears next turn, provided we hit the land. Because then with Mystic Sanctuary, you put it back on top. Life total is not really an issue here. One, two, three, four. I think again, we're just trying to find. Perfect. So the next turn, so we take the damage this turn. They haven't shown green. Oh, there's their green. So we could see a Coco here. Ah, that sucks. Apparition there really sucks. Um, I think we're fine here, no blocks. So we have an Emery as well. So we're gonna Flood of Tears, we're gonna put the Golden Egg in play, draw a card off this, we get some tokens, then I can do this, mm. sequencing is a little odd here, I think I do want to get Flood of Tears going over Emery because they remind you then they play Skyclave Apparition that's fine because I don't want to lose these tokens just yet so we'll play it like that I want to get this into hand first Okay, so they have collected company. So we can Emery here. Just kind of dump our hand again. Statuary is good here because it lets me basically cast this for two mana. And now they need to decide if they want to get rid of the Statuary or the Emery. And I kept their life total low enough that they shouldn't be able to like one-shot us out of the game. They could go double Skyclave here. It's not the end of the world. Because I just reset it with the Flooded Tears. And this is why I like Flooded Tears over Brawl's expertise. That board state, we wouldn't have been able to do everything we needed to. Whew. It's a lot of damage coming through. Um, still have enough here. Size, nice. Um, so trick you can do here, you can activate this, choose what you want to play, and then you can bounce the stuff. Um, so this is basically like net neutral. So 
So play golden egg. Because then what we're able to do is cast this. So you have to manually tap for this. Um, we are going to put onto the battlefield Inspiring Statuary. Um, and then we are going to cast Psy. Now we kind of go off. So we just need to find either our other copy of Karn or the Paradox Engine. Aether Flux is out. The nice thing is Karn can get stuff from Exile. Main Phase Collected Company. So we can get the engine here. We still have another Skyclave. So we can do that on end step. Let's play this out. Probably gonna take like a turn off here. Just need to keep one blue mana. I wanna get the Skyclave out of the way, out of their hand. So I can do this for Paradox Engine, but I don't have the combo yet. Let's just go wild. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. This is probably gonna target the Emery. These can also gain us some life in a pinch. So they're gonna get like very large creatures. Um, do this. Do I have any more Emery's left? Two. So see what we hit off this. Another golden egg's not bad. So we can be um, somewhat conservative with our life total here. I think we still have some copies of Paradox Colocum. Yeah, three copies. So we can balance all these golden eggs and stuff. We may not be able to 50 shot them though. It's the only downside. Okay. So, block, block. I think we take 11 here. Because I want to use size ability to draw cards. You can sack two artifacts. Okay, there's Karn.
Karn's actually really good here. I just need to survive this turn. Mm. Ratchet bomb's too slow. Can do spell bomb. Just need to get this out. Um, get a land here. So I can cast that next turn. I have a decent amount of blockers here. And I have six life. With Platinum Angel out, they can't beat us. We just have to make sure we don't die this turn. Oh, they might have a Johnny. That's the only way. Okay, so block, 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 block. Lock. So there's 16 damage coming through. Yeah, so there's 16 damage. I'm at 17. Let's see what we draw here. Probably just cracking one of these. Now let's draw a card. One life or infinity life, doesn't matter. Play this out. So we just need them to duck a Johnny for a turn. Actually, what we can do Um, what's that a Johnny's name? Sorry. Uh, angels. Johnny's strength of the pride. I don't think they could win now. <laughs> so we kind of went the prison route here. Which is actually kind of funny. Karn did his thing. Um, what's left in our deck? We have Paradox Engine. So they're just gonna run out of cards. Do I still have an Emery left? 
I do, I have two. So I can go infinite. Um, so we just do this on, well, I guess I could do this now. Hey, we got outcome. One, two, three, four. I should have tapped that. We got a lot of life to gain. I just need to find the Emery, really. If I can find Emery, then we're in business. Also can hopefully, they should have just kept attacking us because our win con's that. So you don't lose the game even if you don't have cards in hand. Just trying to find Emery. No tax. I think the opponent still thinks that they're um, able to win. If I deck out. Just keeping my life total a little bit higher here. It's less cards to play. Nope, you're already being blocked. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> as long as this doesn't die, then we're good. Um. Lead off with golden egg, see what we get. Did hit the outcome. Just tap like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should hopefully find us Emery. Perfect. Okay, so Ornithopter. Emery. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have done. Oh, no, wait, we can still do it. So if we do chromatic sphere, it untaps. I should have waited. I can't play anything else. Um, 
can get rid of golden egg, golden egg, golden egg. Outcome. Void. We just so we can generate infinite mana now. With our infinite mana, can basically recast every single turn. So this is probably a game that we like we win, but with the interface and just their life total. I probably misblocked here. So can basically just do it with the Mox Ambers. Kind of just want to exile my graveyard. Actually, I don't even need to generate the mana here. Boom. All right, so that was a really good demo of the deck. Um, like I said, you can get these lock pieces in. Um, it is very manual and something like that in paper, you're able to just say like, I'm gonna do this a billion times. Um, do you have a response? They say no, you win. Saw the power of Flood of Tears there with the Mystic Sanctuary to put it on top. Paradox so will outcome drawing us some value pieces. Um, but that's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you think. Uh, and like I said, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great one.